Hello. Uh, I'm wearing my I just said, I'm wearing my happy socks because <laughs> they make me happy. And I don't have to dress up because I don't have to impress anyone because I have a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm here to talk about why it's a lot better to have a boyfriend than to be single. Uh, and I and so I, I have a little slideshow. Let's see. <laughs> All right, that's, remember, we're great, that's what we're all here for. <laughs> single versus relationships. So, okay, when you're single, in your, and I've been single for most of my life, until I got my boyfriend. Um, <laughs> so when you're single, you kind of think you look like this, right? Like that's what you think is in your head about who you are. But here's what you actually look like, single people in the audience. That's <laughs> Uh, or you look like this guy. This is his okay Cupid profile, and you know it says a lot. Of, but I like the most private thing I'm willing to admit. I'm a virgin. And then on 11709 update, <laughs> not anymore. Sorry, ladies. Every lady wants a virgin. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> If you go out, go to bars, you know, maybe, maybe you think you look like that first girl, but here's what you actually look like. The, not her, the one being fingered in the bar in the bedroom. We've all been there. She'll be there, she'll be there by the end of the show. Uh, so I thought, you know, let's just leave this up for as long as we can. It really suits the space, what they have to promote here. So, I thought I would uh, just, you know, because I think the best way to prove a point is, you know, individually. So I'm going to talk to you about my time as a single person. And uh, I thought that the best way to do this, actually, today, I went through the old notes on my iPhone. You know how it saves all your notepad notes? So I went back three years ago and just scrolled through. And I swear I have not altered. I haven't changed any of these. You can look at the time and the date of these notes. This is what was going through my head when I was a single person. Uh, first one we have, oh here, this is what, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, okay, so these were my goals back then. Uh, get down to 140, find the love of my life and start a relationship with them. <laughs> Settle in my Brooklyn home, drink less frequently. <laughs> Exercise regularly. Can't even say the word. <laughs> uh, get paid for creativity. No more babysitting. <laughs> Do one person show? <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot of important things to share with the world. Uh, reconnect with mom and heal relationship. <laughs> Find a spiritual outlet. That is single people shit 100%. <laughs> The just random notes I would write to myself. Oftentimes, I, well, I'll just show you. So this was written at 2 a.m. <laughs> I wish there was a word for I love you tonight. <laughs> All right, well, this is 141. Uh, don't eat or I don't love you. <laughs> That's what you tell yourself when you're single. You're so mean to yourself. Just find someone. Stop being mean. So, you know, it, it, it varies. There's an eight minute window there. Um, uh, okay, so then this one. Oh, I, I don't know. That is what it's like to be single. All right, um, this one. Oh, I think I wrote this at 11.38 p.m., which is probably note self before you go out. The trick to getting a man to fall in love with you is to get him to admit the most fucked up thing about him and then accept him, ladies. Works. So uh, keep that in mind if you want to get in a relationship. Uh, okay, then, uh, oh, this is just. <laughs> next year's Halloween, like February 4th, I'm planning my next year's Halloween costume, and I've decided to make a giant paper mache egg, go to a party at the egg, and then gradually hatch, and then just be wet and slimy and come out. That's what it's like to be single. That proves how awesome these are. <laughs> Alright, this one, oh, I don't even know what 
this means. I think I was drunk, but it says, being adored is like the ugly sister equivalent of someone actually loving you. <laughs> it's sad, but it just doesn't, it's deep, guys, it's so deep. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is a joke. It sort of explains everything. This is some quote that must have happened around 3 a.m. because I wrote it down at 3.44 a.m. Do you really want to have anal at a place where we can't flush the toilet paper? <laughs> what is going on with my life? Uh, everything has gone completely to shit. Um, <laughs> so that's what it's like being single. And then I looked through, like, the, I've been in a relationship almost two years, so I just, like, pulled some notes from the last couple years, just to see like, okay, is it really that different? Uh, I've never been so happy. 12, 19 p.m., you know? That's in the afternoon, guys. <laughs> um, to deeply love, to love deeply in one direction makes us more loving in all others. <laughs> I don't know if I quoted myself or if somebody wrote that, but that's beautiful. Um, my face hurts from smiling. So, you know, things are so great for me. Oh, this is a joke I wrote. Well, I never, I never, I wrote it in my head. I never performed it. But, uh, this is, uh, the kind of joke. So before it was, like, jokes about anal sex. And now, the, the joke that I thought of with my boyfriend was, like, I wish you could have Urban Dictionary for relationships. You know, Urban Dictionary, how they have, like, terms for things. So the term I thought of was the lazy Susan, which is when you make your boyfriend get something that's equal distance to you. <laughs> get it? The lazy Susan. Okay, so I guess you have to be in a relationship to get that one, guys. <laughs> uh, and then, it's so true, love is all you need. So, you know, this is the difference between a single person's mentality and a person in a relationship. Uh, and then, okay, here's something crazy. So I'm not a crazy person, but when I was single, <laughs> you saw the Xanax thing, but that was just a joke. <laughs> so um, uh, when I was single, here's an example of something I actually did, uh, which is crazy. Uh, now I realize it's crazy. At the time I didn't, but I really liked this guy. We dated, and then um, he moved to Africa, and we couldn't be together. And, Anyway, a couple years went by, and then I got a book deal for not very much money, but I got a book deal, and I was like, I'm gonna go to Africa. I hadn't talked to him in three years, and like win him back. Like, that's the crazy shit single girls do. So, this is the email that I sent him uh, to, to propose the idea. Um, hey, this is kind of a strange request, seeing as we're not on a regular correspondence basis, but I just got a large sum of money. <laughs> Guys. Uh, and I've always wanted to visit Africa, so my girlfriends and I, no one else is going with me, are planning a trip to visit family friends in South Africa. I made that fucking shit up. I don't have family friends in South Africa. How far away from there are you? He lived in Zambia. And if it's not too weird, would you show me Zambia? So obviously I know where he lives. <laughs> a few days sometime in February or March. Like, I might as well have just shown up at his local market with like a basket of fruit and like, oh, hey, I'm running into you here. Um, but obviously, if you have a girlfriend slash wife, like a lover, May, who you're seeing part time, or any number of those combos, it could be weird to have me around. So feel free to say, it'd be weird, and this is why. <laughs> Please include the this is why section though for my or better yet, say it's not weird, and then I'll see you in Africa for a week. <laughs> and then I went to Africa, guys. <laughs>